what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel y'all welcome back to my channel clearly this is me and prince channel now because he wants to be in every single video so i'm going to record you just better not make no noise anyways so this is going to be a life update video so it was supposed to be a life update video but it ended up being a different kind of video because i allow god to just lead the way and speak through me and how I really feel so yeah this video pretty much I'm just like kind of just telling you guys like what's been going on and what I've been going through and all this stuff so let's get right into it so I don't know if you guys know that I have been see that's not gonna work that's not gonna work anyways um that i quit my job um when i quit my job i literally like had this whole idea in my head like i'm gonna be sitting here like making so much money um doing something that i did not so much love you know what i'm saying but i was gonna focus mainly on my youtube that was a fail um because it was just so much going on at that time it was like i couldn't even focus because i was more so focused on bills bills and more bills and stuff just kind of just clustering and just you know coming down on me all at once and like i didn't really like i really i I really didn't look for like nobody to su support me in that with like helping me with my bills and stuff like that. But you know, God just works in mysterious ways. Like he literally like literally made ways for me to make money. Like either I was doing Uber or either Either I was doing Uber or um, I was, you know, I was doing the tax thing or I was um, doing like little things to like, like make me, like make money so I could pay my bills. And the biggest um, bill that I had at the time was my card note, which like every month, literally I made, I made that money for my card note. And this card note is like $500. So I was paying that with no job, no, you know, money coming in. I'm just trying to figure out like, and each month, like literally, like it was just, it was there for me every step of the way. And I just thank God really for letting all of that happen in that time. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot in that time. I'm still learning now. I'm still not saying that I'm not going, any, going through anything right now, but I still am going through a lot of things and I'm still learning, uh, you know, still learning to be a good mom, still learning to be, you know, just a good person in general. And it's it's just like it's really hard like it's really hard out here like it is so hard out here y'all like 
and then it gets it's getting even harder with like you know bills and everything going up and it and just like living wise like it's just really really hard out here especially when you live in an area where it's so expensive to live and you know what i'm saying and it's just like it's hard but i believe in god and i believe in jesus and he will always make a way um all you just need is just a little bit of faith and i'm telling you it'll just go a long way like literally like there's times in my life where i look back and i'd be like how did i even get through that or how did i even do that and it's because like god god did that literally like when i look back to the things that i asked for in my past i'm currently living in them but because i didn't properly like go into detail for what i wanted and what what i looking for and what you know i needed he gave me what i asked for okay so there's nothing in life i should be mad about because he gives me what I asked for. It's my fault that I didn't go into details. It's my fault that I didn't give him the specifics. It's my fault that I didn't do the due diligence into, you know, taking the time and processing everything. But yeah, anyways, um, just speaking on that, um, you know, like when you ask God for things, when you ask God for anything, you want to make sure that you are always, always going into full detail in what you want. Kind of like if you're you're writing a, a book report, you know what I'm saying? An essay, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, a report for your professor. Like you want to go into details, you want to break it down, you want to tell them what is the reason why that you want this or you need that. You know what I'm saying? and god will provide it if he doesn't he always give you something better but you also have to watch out because not only when you pray god is listening the enemy is also listening so sometimes people think that like when they receive something and this is what you pray for that it might be it but it it might it it's you have to have discernment you know you have to have that discernment and discern whether when god gives you something and when the world gives you something and when the world when i mean by world i mean by the devil <laughs> the enemy the entity the adversary all of the above evilness yeah you have to like literally know your discernment be so much into your discernment that you know God ain't, mm -mm, this ain't, this ain't what God sent me. This ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, hold on. I told y'all, this is me and Prince um, update. Because he do not want to let me go. I done gave his boy some cookies and some juice to go watch TV in the room. But he don't, he don't want to go to that. He want to be all on his mommy. I love you too, baby. But anyways, he, he, he might be tired. But yeah, so, um, yeah, and when I try to do sit down videos like this, like I really do be trying to do sit down videos like this, but it's very hard because I have like this thing where I vision, envision something and I want it to be exactly how I envision it. So I have a problem with like things not going the way that I want it to and that's also like what hurts me as well in life because I always when I always envision something like that's just how it's gonna be you know what I'm saying like ugh. so I try my best to like get out of that because you know in life you're never gonna get exactly what you want you never gonna get exactly what you want you either get better or you get something totally different but you're still okay with it um with me i'm never okay with it like i need some like you know god knows me he know how he created me so well, i need to go speak on that but yeah 
but yeah like honestly y'all like when i think about the things i i just be like I'm just so blessed and, and it's not to just brag, but I'm really blessed. And I think that we all are really blessed. Like when we look at our situation, everything is temporary, pain, like struggles, like even if somebody's homeless, it's temporary. It's very so much temporary. And you know what? It's the way how you deal with it. The way how you deal with it, because if you are in a situation and things are going so bad and you're just constantly in this state of mind like god like what is going on what's happening to me like i don't know what to do with myself i don't know you know what i'm saying and trust me i've been in that place i've been i'm not too long ago came out of that place i was talking to my best friend and you know what i'm saying like i just felt like the world was just coming down and it was just like just a a bad month for me and i was just like what is going on like i can't and you know like she she shared some kind words and she you know just reminded me i just feel like god was just talking through her because like she just reminded me like you know like all of this is temporary just remind yourself like you have to remind yourself this is temporary what god wants for me and what I want for myself, I know is gonna, I know it's so much more. So you gotta think about that. You gotta think like sometimes he, he brings you through certain things so he can prepare you for what's ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like people just think that, you know, things are just so easy when they go on Instagram, when they go on Facebook, when they go on Snatch, and they see these people living their lives, but they don't see what they have been harvesting. You know what I'm saying? So what they've already harvested, and they didn't document that, but they showing you what they have now, it's kind of like, oh, dang, they just came out of nowhere and got all this stuff. It's kind of crazy to me because you can't just think that because nothing just happens overnight. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I also take with my YouTube. I don't I don't look for support anymore. I don't look for people to like do anything for me while for my YouTube page. Like I used to look for that stuff. I used to be like wanting instant gratification and all of that stuff. I don't look for those stuff anymore. I just do it because I love to do it. I love to do it. That's something that I love to do. So I'm going to do it. And I may not be as consistent as I want to be because I be just dealing with a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I still, this is something that I love to do. Like, somebody asked me, if you're not getting, if you were not getting paid from doing YouTube, like you'll never get paid from doing YouTube, would you still do it? I would still do it. Because you know why? I love editing. I love like seeing myself i don't know i love seeing myself on the camera period okay i always put on a show baby okay to an actor in the making manifestation <laughs> but no yeah anyways yeah i love doing those things so it's like yeah i i love do i love entertaining like that's something i like to do i am very shy though i'm a very shy person honestly when i get in a room I have to fill the room out first. And then once I fill the room out first, then I'm like, oh God, I can vibe with these little niggas. <laughs> so then, yeah, I get into it, you know what I'm saying? But and that's that's how I am. That's how I am as a person. I keep looking over everybody, ain't nobody over there. But anyways, yeah, that's how I am as a person, you know what I'm saying? And I just love watching people like come from nothing and turn their whole world into something. I feel like it's like magic. It's like, I won't even say it's like magic because it's, it's not magic, that's just God. Anyways, yeah. And I just like, honestly, like, I'm just so proud of myself. I'm just so grateful for everything. Like, I'm not about to sit here and cry y'all, but I'm just so thankful for the people in my life and the people that I can talk to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the people I can hit up and be like, hey, you know, this and that's going on. And they'll sit there and listen. Sometimes you need somebody to just sit there and listen and you don't need no opinions. Just for them to just sit there and listen. Just listen to me. 
you know what I'm saying sometimes you just need that and I'm grateful that I have people like that in my life I'm just glad that I just have those people in my life that I can really reach out and talk to about anything okay and there's no room to judge nothing because I'm not judging them they're not judging me well shit I hope they're not judging me but from what I look at yeah I know they ain't judging me but yeah anyway um yeah so life update yeah living blessed you know fully covered by the blood of Jesus I don't know why people be so scared to say Jesus Jesus Yahshua Yahweh say his name please anyways um yeah and i'm just so thankful for my family and you know and all the accomplishments like honestly i be wanting to tear up because like i be really looking at people at where they came from with their businesses and how like established they are now even though you may have like some downfalls but i'm just i be looking at people like all you gotta do is stick to it Stick to it. Like that Coco Melon song that my son be listening to. Um, you're strong enough. You're smart enough. Something, something. Don't ever give up. <laughs> Keep sticking to it. Okay, yeah, cut that part out. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, I be, I be looking at stuff like that, and I'm just. So proud of myself um i'm proud of the people around me that's doing things and making things happen in this time in this economy um i'm just grateful for life in general so my life update is just me living and me just going with the flow of life and allowing god to just work through me and work in my life you know and i may not be be where i want to be right now but I'm not going to sit here and constantly complain and constantly nag about it. Like, and don't get me wrong. Like, I have my times where I be like, oh, God, I'm so tired of this. But then I come back and I snap back. And that's not me complaining. That's just me being a human and me expressing myself. Because I would not come on here and say, like, I don't sit here and be like, oh, I get tired sometimes. I'm... You know what I'm saying? I'm not jolly all the time. I'm be like, I'll be tired, okay? I'll be real life tired. Full time mom, full time job, full, well, I'm trying to be a full time YouTuber, so yeah, full time. I'm, I'm working, I'm working all around the clock, baby, okay? And I'm pursuing my dreams, and that's what I'm doing. So, I just want you guys to continue to watch my page, continue to subscribe to my channel, share my page with anybody that you think may like my videos, and just constantly, constantly lift your girl up and support me. And I just want to say, like, if there's anything that you guys want to do in life, and I know you guys hear this so much, because honestly, I'll be watching videos like that too, and I'll be like, whatever. If there's anything that you want to do in life, stick to it. Do it. Because it does. Don't, don't let the thoughts in your mind take over your vision. Take over what God gave you, like the vision that God gave you. Don't let the negative thoughts or the negative people consume you. And not start what you want to do. Because little do you know that, okay... You don't, God gave you that vision for you to do, and you don't want to do it. Okay, listen, I'm gonna let somebody else do it, they're gonna do it for sure. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let that person do it, and then you just missed out. You just missed out on that opportunity. Let your vision come to life, no matter what nobody has to say. And I'm telling you right now, you think about, oh, I don't have the money to do it. I'm telling you, God gonna provide it. God will provide for you, especially if it's in his plans, because often we make a lot of plans. And what I've noticed in life, we make a lot of plans. If it's not 
And this kind of sounds selfish. If it's not along the line of God's plans that he has for you, which his plans are so much better than what you have planned for yourself, then it's not really going to fall into place. You get what I'm saying? Like, like he might let it fall into place because you may need to learn from something or you may need to, you know, grab something from that experience. But what God has for you will always be for you. And what he has planned for you will always be for you. So just keep that in mind and, re and remember that. And just know that he will never, 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 never forsake you and never leave you. All you just have to have is just a little bit of faith and just trust. Why am I crying right now? Okay, anyways. Um, yeah. Anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys. Keep supporting me. Keep supporting my dreams. Um, I know I'm going to make it. And I know I'm going to be great. And I'm rooting for me. And I'm rooting for whoever has big dreams, big goals out there. Keep pushing, keep going, keep doing you, because I'm telling you, God.